there's been a lot of discussion recently when it comes to searching by favicon in Shodan. So favicon search is actually a very good way to discover assets of a certain organization or company by means that no other search is able to discover. So this actually means this method actually allows you to discover assets that are not discoverable by other means. So uh, favicon search, I think the name is pretty explicative. Let's say for example we have the favicon from google.com which is available at google.com. Favicon search or search by favicon on Shodan for this particular thing we get, so here's how, how it goes, we get the favicon hash, so we get a hash of the favicon and then we search for that hash using a Shodan filter and this will actually allow us to discover assets that may not be discovered by other means so the filter is actually http.favicon.hash and then you have the hash uh, which is calculated for your uh, particular asset in this case, favicon for the for google.com. Now, how do we calculate uh, this favicon? There have been amazing people who've done uh, Python scripts to get this going. Mayo So, Ong Kant created uh, two scripts for both Python 2 and Python 3. And in this case, you would have to actually fill this in. The, let's say, in this case, what I want to show you in this video is to actually uh, automate this process so you wouldn't have to fill in for each asset individually but actually automate this via command line so I'm gonna leverage on uh, these two amazing scripts or basically I'm gonna leverage on the Python 3 aspect of it and uh, what we're gonna do is just um, run run it like this so python fav.py and then we specify the link, so https.google.com, favicon.ico, and then what we'll get is uh, we'll get the entire filter with the favicon field. So this is what I want to do. And the actual modification to the script is pretty simple. Pretty simple, but very powerful. So let's actually do that. Level up your skills in bug bounty hunting and penetration testing with my course Recon in Cybersecurity and master the fascinating world of reconnaissance. Link below. Once again, we're going to make this more automated so we don't have to actually fill in uh, with the, the link every time we need to search for an individual asset. So since we're going to be using Python 3, uh, we're just going to import like MMH3 we're just gonna copy the code from there so we're gonna import requests and we're also gonna import codecs first of all we'll say here based on this kudos to the developer right and then since we need to provide the argument via command line our argument is going to be the link to the fav icon we're just going to import sys we're going to use sysargv and then we'll just simply do response equals requests.get and in this case what we need to get we're not going to actually fill in with the uh, link itself but with the first argument, so sysrv1. Okay, and then we also need to specify a verify equals false because I've noticed that if we don't uh, specify this verify, when we actually uh, try to get HTTPS, so secure links, uh, we often encounter errors. So this is actually less error prone. So it makes uh, the script more um, robust, if I can put it that way. Then I'm simply going to do the rest of it. So fav icon equals codex.encode 
response dot content which is encoded in base 64 because that's how the codex uh, wants us to use this uh, library and then we need to calculate the hash as said here using the MMH3 library hash and we need the hash of the fav icon variable alright and finally instead of printing the hash we can simply say show then let's actually say it on a new line show then search query is going to be http.favicon so we go back to show then so http.favicon.hash http.favicon.hash and then we need to stringify the hash so this should actually be it let's control save and now let's try to run it so like I said instead of specifying the link over here inside the, the inside the code we can just specify it via the command line using sysargv1 and in this case we'll simply do so I believe this is on the desktop and then python fav.py and we copy the link to the fav icon from google.com and then hit enter and we see here show and search query http fav icon this so we can simply copy this and then plug it in to show then and there you go 69,000 results now we can automate this even further so if you have the Shodan command line uh, interface installed which I do on Kali Linux let me just copy this and go to Kali Linux let's actually nano fav.py paste this and if you have the Shodan command line interface you can simply use the OS module so import OS and in this case you'll do OS system and the command that you're gonna run is shodan search leave a space here and then plus this thing so shodan search actually HTTP we're gonna have it in here fav icon dot hash and we'll simply do the hash it should work I believe so should and search HTTP fav icon hash and then the hash let's see so let's control O to save enter control x to quit python fav.py I think I need to specify python 3 in Kali Linux and then what was it so copy the link from here go to Kali Linux paste let's see mmh3 so yeah we need to python 3 minus m pip install mmh3 what other libraries are there so requests should already be installed called that codex should already be installed so I believe we shouldn't have any other errors let's run this okay so we have the first result and then if the thing goes well now it's running the OS command but I'm not really sure if it's gonna print anything it actually did and we probably have a load of results so that's another way that's that's actually the full automation of it I mean you can uh, further refine the search uh, by filtering 
exactly what you want on screen so if you only want the IP you'll just gonna grab for the IP and the port and whatever other filters you're uh, actually looking for in your Shodan search but I usually don't use it uh, like this I just calculate the hash via the command line and just simply copy it from here and then plug it into Shodan and then I'm actually looking for all the results for that specific asset or company at hand and in this case as you can see all of the results have the Google Fav icon uh, in here so yeah a very very powerful way to search on Shodan if you want to gain an edge over other cybersecurity professionals take my Python for pen testers course and uh, learn how to leverage the power of Python in penetration testing and cybersecurity link in the description